Hey, what's up guys? It's John with RussellMarineProducts.com. Today, we're gonna show you how to get side imaging from your down imaging unit. Stay tuned, we'll show you how it's done. All right guys, here we are. This is what it all comes down to. This is what you've been waiting to see. This is how you get side imaging with your down imaging unit. Prior to the Mega 360, our recommendations have always been to run that side imaging transducer off the trolling motor paired up with the side imaging unit. That is no longer necessary. You can actually run side imaging with your DI Helix or your DI Solix Mega Down Imaging Plus rather. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just run through kind of the ins and outs, show you what this looks like, show you some things that we've learned along the way. And um, we'll go ahead and pull this thing out of the water and show you exactly how this thing looks. Okay, so one important thing to notice is that this transducer is lined up with the bow of your boat. If you get that thing off a little bit, then your side image, your, your Mega 360 image won't suffer because it's always in constant rotation. Um, but you do want to make sure that this thing is lined up with the bow of the boat. That way you're getting an even distribution from left to right. If it's cockeyed, you're going to get all kinds of funky stuff going on. So use that as reference and just kind of use the bow of your boat to center that thing up. All right, guys, just for transparency purposes, we're going to show you that this is, in fact, a down imaging unit. You can see it's a Helix 10 Chirp Mega DI Plus GPS G3N. All right, now that we have verified that this is a down imaging unit, we're gonna go ahead and switch it over to our side image. Alright guys, as you can see, we are off the water. Very impressed with the results that we got here. You can see we're running the Mega 360 and the down imaging unit. That was kind of the important part of this video was to show you guys that it is possible to get side imaging with the down imaging unit. So one thing that I really want to touch on, I've mentioned it a couple times in the video, but I want to make sure that when you guys are installing this on your own boats that uh, you're getting this thing lined up with the bow of the boat. So as you can see where the shaft meets the transducer, you have this teardrop shape here. You want this point to be lined up down the center of the boat. So that way, when you're running to the left or the right, that you're running true. So uh, we did make some adjustments on the water this morning and you'll notice it if it's off of here. So just keep that in mind. If you do need to make that adjustment, it's gonna take an Allen head 
and you just loosen this bolt up in here and then you can rotate that shaft. So that is, that is gonna be probably the most important part of this whole installation. Um, we're very impressed with the side image that we got off of this. I don't think that it was compromised versus the, uh, either the built-in in, you know, in, your, in your trolling motor or the external. So we, we like both of those options, but I really like this one because it's stationary. I felt like when I was making those small turns that I wasn't blowing out my image like I've done in the past with the external transducer. So not only are you gonna get that better image, you're gonna save some money. You're gonna get the down image model instead of the side image. No need in wasting the money. Make sure if you guys need help putting a package together, give us a call. We'll get you set up with all the necessary uh, adapters and, and everything that goes along with running this type of setup. You can give us a call at 316-313-4113 or shoot us an email at sales at russellmarineproducts.com. And until next time, we'll see you on the water.